So tons of YouTube creators are in a panic because their YouTube ad revenue is decreasing. Some people saying 50 to 90%. So this is a Forbes article. It says YouTube creators say video revenue is down up to 90%. Something is definitely off. It goes on to say it's putting their future as video creators in doubt, as well as seriously harming their economic well-being. All right. So listen, guys, I have always talked about YouTube AdSense as being the cherry on top. Literally, it's just a bonus is how I look at it. YouTube ad revenue, I think a lot of us get caught up in the ad revenue and they're like, oh, but I'm making YouTube ad money. And it's like, listen, you should be able to turn your YouTube ad money off and not have it impact you or bother you. All right. So I went back and looked at my ad revenue for the, the last three years, as well as the viewership. So you can compare views and ad revenue. In 2021, I had 1.8 million views for this four month period, and I made about $15,200. Very nice. In 2022, I had 3 million views. Okay. So 3 million, so 1.2 million views more. And I saw a bump in ad revenue. It was 20, about 23,600. This is the first year as a YouTube creator, and I've been doing this for about six years now, six, seven years, uh, that I've seen my ad revenue go down. Now, 2023, I had 3.4 million views. I got more views than I did the year before, but my ad revenue was only 20,500. So it's about $3,000 less than it was for the same time period, January through April. So what's going on? Part of this is, I think it's just a signal of the economy. Um, a lot of people, you know, when businesses need to cut back on their budgets, unfortunately, some of the first things they pull are advertising. All right. So you're going to see these, these costs coming down as businesses start to tighten the belt. I think it's also a part of some people realizing that they don't need ads to be successful, especially creators like myself, course creators. You know, you see so many, I get so many ads like make millions of dollars with Facebook ads guaranteed or make millions of dollars with YouTube ads guaranteed. And I literally, I've hired some great agencies over the years and none of them have really been able to push the needle that much for me any more than getting more views on YouTube did. All right, my organic funnel is really great and my website. So I use YouTube and my website in full transparency. It's not just YouTube. Um, so my organic traffic is really pulling in most of my business. And when we do advertising, it doesn't really seem to push the needle that much. And I think a lot of creators are learning that and feeling that and they're like, okay, I can do, I, I don't need ads to be successful. And I think everyone's kind of jumped in and gotten burned a little bit with the ad thing. And, you know, a lot of us aren't at that level where we can spend, you know, $20,000 a month on ads to, to grow our business. Cause honestly, that's, that's really what it takes, um, for a lot of courses out there. So what I've said from the beginning to anyone on YouTube, you gotta have a course guys. Okay. You gotta be selling something. And if you don't have your course, maybe you're an affiliate of someone else's course. Maybe you're making affiliate income. You need something outside of YouTube ad revenue. You saw what that article, some of these people are like, they're putting my future as a creator in jeopardy. And it's like, no, you put your own future in jeopardy as a creator because you did not diversify. It's just like investing, investing 101. You, you have to diversify your assets at some point. You know, I invest, I'm invested in, in real estate. Um, I do some outside investing, but you know, the, the more diversified you are, if one piece of that falls apart, you still have this other piece over here. My business as a music teacher is actually highly diversified. It was my guitar teacher, my first guitar teacher who made me understand diversification. So I was still working for the pharmaceutical company at the time. And I was telling her how I wanted to quit my job to become a guitar teacher. And she said, you know, the great thing about being a guitar teacher, because a lot of people were like, you don't want to do that. You're going to lose your benefits and a lot of scare and fear tactics. And she was like, you know what, for you, for you to lose your job, it just takes one person to make a decision and you've been fired. She goes, for me, I think she had like 40 or 50 students at the time. 
She's like, it takes 40 to 50 people to fire me. They all have to fire me at the same exact time for me to be out of a job. And I was like, oh, that's diversification. That's what it means. It's like not having all your eggs in one basket. And I think a lot of creators, they're putting way too much emphasis on YouTube ads because I know you hear my numbers. You're like, oh, those are like, that's nice. I wouldn't mind making an extra three or $4,000 a month. And YouTube ad revenue, for some people, that is a full-time income. But if I depended solely on that, it's, you know, it, it's too, there's too much fluctuation in that. So I have courses, all right? And I make a lot more money. I probably make 10 times more money selling courses than I do on YouTube ad revenue, okay? I wanna repeat that. I make about 10 times more money on my courses than I do YouTube ad revenue. So I would highly recommend that you get started building a course that you can sell to people who are watching your YouTube channel so that you have another way to make money. And if you're interested in learning how to build an online successful course, all right, I've done it multiple times, go check out this video right over here where I'm gonna go over some tips on how you can get started with this, building a course online and how to do it successfully so that you can have longevity and make money over a long period of time.